there really isn't anything too hard for God. And so even in our aged years, there is purpose, there is hope, there is responsibility and duty. Your effectiveness has not expired. There's still something for you to do even at the age you're at. Uh, in this world, we live in a world where everything, just about everything is thrown away. You know, you go to, to the uh, uh, places where they dump trash and you see the amounts of debris that people throw away every day. You drive by on trash day and, and folk don't have one but two, no, sometimes three containers of things that folk just throw away. When we were kids, think back, when you, when you and I were kids, we didn't throw anything away. Yeah. Old bicycle rims became basketball hoops, huh? <laughs> the clothes were passed down from one generation to the next. And it didn't matter to my parents that my older brother was short and fat. I still had to get his clothes. <laughs> and, and so, you know, while his pants legs came down to his ankles, his pants leg on me came to my, my knees. I think I started the whole Capri revolution. <laughs> But we didn't throw anything away. Even orange peels, my mama would take and make candy out of them. Nothing was thrown away. But we live in a throwaway society. And some people seem to think that because we throw things away, we can throw our elderly away. But I've come by today to tell you that you are not thrown away. There's still purpose. There's still youthfulness in you. And I want you to believe that. I, I know, I know, I know your youth is all spent. How do I know? Because you get up and go and got up and win. <laughs> but I hope you're able to smile when you think with a grin of all the grand places your get up has been. Old age is golden, I've heard it said, but sometimes I wonder as I get in the bed with my ears on the table, my, 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 my eyes in a, uh, I'm sorry, my eyes on the table, my ears in a cup, uh, uh, my teeth in a cup. Huh? <laughs> my ears in the drawer until I wake up, then sleep deals with my eyes, I say to myself, is there anything else I can lay on the shelf? When I was young, my slippers were red, but still I could kick my heels over my head. Then I grew older, my slippers were blue, but still I could work the day and night through. Now that I'm old, my slippers are black. I walk to the corner and puff my way back. <laughs> now that I've retired from life's competition, I busy myself with complete repetition. I get up each morning, dust off my wits, I pick up the paper and read the old bits. <laughs> if my name is missing, I know I'm not dead, so I eat a good breakfast and go back to bed. <laughs> yeah, the reason I know my youth is all spin, my get up and go has got up and went, but I'm able to smile when I think with a grin of all the grand places my get up has been. I believe that you have seen and done and experienced so much in life. There's so much wisdom in this room. So much wisdom wrapped up in you is going to be effective. I don't want you to ever stop living. There's a joy to life. I don't ever want you to stop laughing. There's a joy to life. I don't ever want you to stop contributing and giving. There's a joy to life. Don't think about what you cannot do. I want you to think about what you can do. And I tell that not only to, to the elderly, I tell it to you and elderly alike. It seems as if, if we're here or we're here, people put limits on us. They put us in this box and they confine us. It's about what we can't, you can't drive anymore. <laughs> can't live by yourself. You've heard those things, haven't you? All the things you can do. We tell that to, our, to the little children and we tell it to, to, our, to our senior citizens, our sensational seniors, as I like to call them. But I don't want to put limits on folks. I remember one time I was in Texas speaking to a group of people, and, and I wanted to illustrate that point, and so I called a couple of children to the front. And I said to them, I said, I want you to touch that light up there. And the little boy looked at me and he said, I can't do that. It's too high. Well, I figured right away he wasn't listening to my message. Because <laughs> had he been listening, he'd have figured it out, he could. So I turned to the little girl that came forward, I said, can you touch that light? And she stood up with her shoulders back and she said, yes, I can. And then she said, with your help. <laughs> and I reached down and I picked her up and I held her up and she touched that light. Could she do it? Yes, she could. She needed help to do it, but it could be done. And the same is true for you. There are some things that maybe you can't do by yourself, but with help, you can do it. And together, the collection of people that are in this room, 
There is a powerful force that dwells in this room because it's on the inside of you. And when you pull your energy and you pull your ideas and you pull your resources and you come together, there is no limit to what you can accomplish. No is not in your vocabulary. Can't is not in your vocabulary. Don't laugh at me because I'm old. There is still youthfulness in me. So figure it out for yourselves, my senior lads and lasses. You were born with all that the great have had. Two hands, two legs, two arms, two eyes, and a brain to use it. You would be wise. With your equipment, they all began. Get hold of yourself and say, I can. Look them over the wise and the great. They all take their food from a common plate. With similar knives and forks they use with similar laces, they tie their shoes. The world considers them brave and smart. They were just like you when they made their start. Hey, you can try and become the skill. You can be great if you only will. You are the handicap you must face. You're the one who must choose your place. You must say where you want to go. How much of the truth you will study to know. God has equipped all of you for life, but he lets you decide what you want to be. Courage must come from the person within. You must furnish the will to win. So figure it out for yourselves, my lasses and lads. You were born with all that the great have had. With your equipment, they all began. Get hold of yourself and say, I can. Believe in yourself. Believe in your God and do what I do every day. And I do it every day. I wake up and I walk to the mirror and I look at myself in the mirror. And the first thing I say to myself is, you sure are good looking. <laughs> and then I tell myself, you can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you can. My name is Brennan Francois. It's been a plum, please, and pleasure talking to you today. Believe in yourself. Believe in your God and say yes. I can. God bless you. <laughs>